it says find the general solution to the differential equation 1 over x times dy by dx is equal to 2y divided by x squared plus 1. We need to solve this differential equation and we've got 1 over x dy by dx is 2y over x squared plus 1. What we've got, we've got x over on this side and we've got a mixture of y and x over here. So what we need to do is try to get all the x's here and anything with y over here. So it's quite just a simple little swap. We'll do multiply by x and divide by y. And this is called separating or separating the variables. So what we've done is separate the variables. So here we get 1 over y dy by dx is equal to 2x x squared plus 1. And now you integrate both sides with respect to x. So if you do that, you integrate 1 over y dy by dx dx is equal to the integral of 2x over x squared plus 1 dx. So integral, integral sign on both sides and a dx on both sides. This will just cancel out, and therefore you're just going to get 1 over y dy by dy. In this side, you've got the integral of 2x over x squared plus 1 dx. Now, your ability to proceed is your ability now to integrate. So the integral of 1 over y is ln of the absolute value of y. Now, this one here, you, you will probably try, no, try ln of x squared plus 1. If you differentiate, that becomes 2x over x squared plus 1. So the integral of that is equal to ln of x squared plus 1. And then you have to add a c. Right, carrying on. You don't strictly need these straight lines on this side, but it doesn't matter. If you let c be equal to ln of the absolute value of a, you're going to get the ln of y is equal to ln of x squared plus 1 plus the ln of a. Now, using a rule of logarithms, log a of x, y is equal to log a of x plus uh, log a of y, which is what we've got here. We can rewrite the right-hand side as ln of a times x squared plus 1. And because we've just got ln on both sides now and nothing else added on, we can just say that the uh, family of solutions or the general solution will be y is equal to a x squared plus 1, where a is equal to uh, sorry, where a is just a constant. Okay. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to uh, find a general solution of a simple differential equation where you have to separate the variables. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.